In this HIP Part 2 Muscle Names Memory Method video, we present the muscle names and actions responsible for hip abduction, hip extension, and hip external rotation, thus completing the six actions of the hip. Again, we associate this new information with cartoons that, when described, sounds like the muscle name you need to remember. Five muscle names will be familiar from the Part 1 hip video, but will have new actions. Ten new muscles and their actions are introduced. Let's review the five familiar muscle cartoons. A magnificent magician duck, a ductor magnus, a medium size glutton, gluteus medius, a minimum sized glutton, gluteus minimus, a taurus bull who thinks he's the czar of bulls, Zartorius, a fashionable latte cup to squeeze when tense, tensor fasciolata. We turn now to the 10 new muscle cartoons and their names. Who do you see? A beautiful femme fatale holding two sippy straws. Biceps femoris. Who do you see? An eel wearing a queen's crown of inferior gems. Jim Elis inferior. Who do you see? An eel wearing the Pope's triple crown of superior gems. Jim Elis, superior. Who do you see? A maximum sized glutton. Gluteus Maximus. Who do you see? An outside or external telephone pole operator repairman. Operator externus. Who do you see? An internal telephone switchboard operator. Operator internus. What do you see? A pier on the Tiber River. Pier eformis. Who do you see? A beautiful feminine dancer holding four rats. Quadratus femoris. Who do you see? A semi-trailer truck hauling cell membranes. Semi-membranosis. Who do you see? A semi-trailer truck hauling beef tendons. Semi-tendinosis. We place cartoons in a working group to perform each joint action. Let's see the five abduction players in action. Let's see the five extension players in action playing soccer. The defense, the slide, the pass, the kick, Goal! Here are the eight external rotation players duck dancing on the pier. In hip abduction, the leg and hip move sideways away from the midline. As Miss Hip Abduction directs jumping jacks and abduction exercise and the skeleton demonstrates hip abduction, a hip abducting bull who believes he's the czar of bulls, Sartorius, whose muscle begins on the outer edge of the pelvis and pulls on the inner surface of the tibia just below the knee joint, squeezing his latte coffee, tensor fascia lata, whose muscle begins on the upper back surface of the pelvis just below its bottom edge and pulls on the fascia, dense tissue, part of the iliotibial band attached to the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint, joins with 
a medium-sized glutton, gluteus medius, whose muscle begins on the upper half of the posterior pelvis and pulls on the lateral surface of the elbow-like projection called the greater trochanter, on the femur just below the hip joint. Also joining is a minimum-sized glutton, gluteus minimus, whose muscle begins on the lower half of the posterior pelvis and pulls on the lower half of the front or anterior surface of the elbow-like projection called the greater trochanter on the femur just below the hip joint. And finally, joining for the abduction exercises is a maximum size glutton, gluteus maximus, whose muscle begins on the posterior or back edge of the pelvis and adjacent surface of the sacrum, and one-fourth of the muscle fibers pull on the upper posterior surface of the femur whereas three-fourths of the fibers pull through fascia of the iliotibial band and its attachment onto the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. Let's see the abduction action players again. Let's compare the five muscles responsible for hip abduction. Sartorius, tensor fascia lata, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. The three longest cross both the hip and knee joint. Two of these three, tensor fascia lata and gluteus maximus, cross the joint by joining the iliotibial band. The remaining two muscles, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, are the most powerful of the five hip abductors. Picture in your mind the five muscles that abduct the hip and name them. Only the first muscle is new if you have studied part one of hip actions. The cartoon hints are gluttons of maximum, medium, and minimum size, a Taurus bull who thinks he's a czar, and a squeezable latte cup when tense. Gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, sartorius, tensor fascia lata. Did you get them all? In hip extension, the leg and hip moves backwards. As Miss Hip Extension watches, and the skeleton demonstrates hip extension, a hip extending majestic magician duck adductor magnus, whose muscle begins on the bottom surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the posterior surface of the femur, as well as a second site on the inner surface of the femur just above the knee joint. Back kicks the soccer ball towards a sliding maximum size glutton, gluteus maximus whose muscle begins on the posterior or back edge of the pelvis and adjacent surface of the sacrum, marked here in red, and one-fourth of the muscle fibers pull on the upper posterior surface of the femur. Here is the same pulling site or muscle insertion site as seen from the side whereas three-fourths of the fibers pull through fascia of the iliotibial band and its attachment onto the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. The soccer ball slides by two semi-trucks, one carrying cell membranes, semi-membranosis, whose muscle begins on the posterior surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the posterior medial inner surface just below the knee joint on the tibia, as well as the second carrying beef tendons, semitendinosus, whose muscle begins on the posterior surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the medial or inner surface of the upper tibia. And then past a feminine fatale goalie holding two sippy straws, biceps femoris, whose muscle begins in two places, 
the highest on the posterior surface of the lower limb of the pelvis, the second on the posterior and lateral lower half of the femur, and poles on the outer surface of the head of the fibula, just below its upper joint with the tibia. Defense, the slide, the pass, the kick, goal. Let's compare the five muscles responsible for hip extension. Semitendinosus, biceps femoris, semimembranosus, adductor magnus, and gluteus maximus. The three longest muscles cross both the hip and knee joints, and all three begin at the same site and, as a group, are called the hamstrings because their tendons are felt at the back of the knee. The gluteus maximus muscle crosses the knee joint through its iliotibial band extension. All five muscles pull near the midline and are powerful hip extenders. Picture in your mind the five muscles that extend the hip and name them. One you already know from hip abduction and another AM from part one, hip adduction, strong hip flexion, and hip internal rotation. The cartoon hints are a maxim size glutton, a magnificent majestic duck, a beautiful femme fatale holding two sippy straws, a semi-trailer truck hauling cell membranes, and a semi-trailer truck hauling beef tendons. Gluteus maximus, adductor magnus, biceps femoris, semi-membranosus, semi-tendinosus. Did you get them all? In hip external rotation, the leg and hip rotate outward. As Miss Hip External Rotation teaches the duck dance with feet and hips turned outward to seven muscles dancing about the eighth and the skeleton demonstrating hip external rotation, a prancing Taurus bull, who believes he's the czar of bulls, Sartorius, whose muscle begins on the outer edge of the pelvis and pulls on the inner ridge of the tibia just below the knee joint, comes dancing onto the Tiber River's formal pier, piriformis, whose muscle begins on the anterior or front surface of the sacrum, just on the other side of the sacrum from gluteus maximus's origin, and pulls on the top outside or lateral side of the trochanter, the elbow-like projection at the top of the femur followed by a beautiful femme fatale swirling four rats on her arm, quadratus femoris whose muscle begins along a groove on the back of the pelvis, just between the hip joint and the lower limb of the pelvis, and pulls on the posterior trochanter of the femur. Just off the telephone pole to join the dance is an external telephone operator, Obturator externus, whose muscle begins along much of the front surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the inner surface of the trochanter, just lateral or adjacent to the neck of the femur. Getting off her inside switchboard duty is the telephone operator, Obturator internus, whose muscle begins along much of the back surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the top surface of the ridge of the trochanter just in front of the attachment of the obturator externus. Then along comes a maximum size glutton, gluteus maximus, whose muscle begins on the posterior or back edge of the pelvis and adjacent surface of the sacrum, and one-fourth of the muscle fibers pull on the upper posterior surface of the femur, whereas three-fourths of the fibers pull through fascia of the iliotibial band and its attachment onto the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. Not all the muscles dance on the pier. Two eels dance on the Tiber River. The smaller eel is wearing only a two-layered gym 
Hatfield crown like the Queen of England. She is Jim Elias inferior, whose muscle begins along the posterior ridge of the pelvis just above the junction of its lower limb and pulls on the inner surface of the trochanter just in front of the quadratus femorisus insertion site. The larger-sized dancing eel on the river, wearing a triple-layered Jim Field crown like the Pope's, is Jimilius Superior, whose muscle begins superior to that of Jimilius Inferior's on the posterior pelvis and pulls on the inner surface of the trochanter just in front of the Jimilius Inferior's insertion site. Let's see those piriformis dancers again. Let's compare a close-up of the six muscles that externally rotate the femur by pulling on the elbow-like projection on the femur, the trochanter, as seen from the front on the left and from the back on the right. We will continue to use the Rudiger Anatomic Human Skeleton under permission from Anatomic Warehouse and will pair the muscle number by the red mark, the origin or beginning point of the muscle, with the same number by the blue mark or insertion point of the muscle. Let's start with number 139. Quadratus femoris is the first of three backmost muscles with beginnings or origins on the back of the pelvis and pulling or insertion sites on the trochanter. Moving upward in the right panel is Gemelius inferior, number 138 and Gemelius Superior, number 137, whose insertion site is just coming into view on the left panel. The next two muscles begin on the lower limb of the pelvis, the bony margin of the obturator foramen, or opening. The first, number 136, in the left panel, obturator externus, begins on the front or external surface of the lower limb, passes behind the hip joint, and pulls on the next site forward, as seen on both the front and back panels. Obturator internus, number 135, in the right panel, begins on the inside or posterior surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on a site just forward of obturator externus's insertion site. The sixth muscle, piriformis, number 134, in the left or front panel, originates on the front of the sacrum, passes behind the hip joint, and pulls on the foremost site of the six muscles on the trochanter. Two muscles remain to help with external hip rotation. Sartorius, as seen from the front in panel 1 and from the side in panel 2, and gluteus maximus in panel 3 and its origin only in panel 4. In review, only the origins of obturator externus, piriformis, and sartorius are seen on the left whereas origins of quadratus femoris, gemelius inferior and gemelius superior, obturator internus, and gluteus maximus are seen on the right panel. And in the left panel, the insertion sites circle front to back, and the insertion sites in the right panel circle back to front. Picture in your mind the eight muscles that externally rotate the hip and name them. Two muscles you have seen before, G, M, and S. Six are new. Here are hints. G, M is a maximum size glutton and S is a torus bull who thinks he's a czar.
The remaining hints from the top are a gym wearing eel with a superior crown, a gym wearing eel with an inferior crown, an operator repairman who works externally on telephone poles, a telephone operator who works internally at the switchboard, a beautiful feminine dancer holding four rats, a pier on the Tiber River, Gluteus Maximus, Gemilius Superior, Gemilius Inferior, Obturator Externus, Obturator Internus, Quadratus Femoris, Piriformis, and Sartorius. Did you get them all? Now review the hip muscle origin and insertion sites on the pelvis, hip, femur, and knee as the skeleton is rotated. Douglas J. Ware is producer and narrator, Sherry Eichelberger is the artist, and the skeleton is Rudiger Anatomy Premium Human Skeleton with flexible spine, muscle, painting, and arteries from Anatomy Warehouse, Evanston, Illinois. So let's get started. Subscribe now!